Is there a point in the evolution of these machines where they're going to say, oh, how quaint mom and dad, you, you made me in your image with these human neural nets. Why are we imagining that they would be limited to the way we design them? Absolutely. This is this idea of recursive self-improvement, where when they're bad, they're useless, but when they get good enough and strong enough, eventually just be fully autonomous, it can start improving itself. I think what we should do is just take this large language model paradigm that's currently working so well and just see how far we can push it. So I completely disagree with this. So LLMs are not controllable. It's not dangerous because they're not that smart. It can be very intelligent without being autonomous, and you can be autonomous without without being intelligent. There's always what's called a generalization gap, which means you can never train them for every possible uh, question. And so they're not controllable. What is a concrete task that they will never be able to do? Uh, clear out the dinner table, fill up the dishwasher. <laughs> ah, okay. And that's easy I, compared to... I'm skeptical. That's super easy compared to fixing your toilets, right? You're never going to have a plumber with LLMs. You're never going to have a robot driven by LLMs. It just cannot understand the real world. It just can't. You're not saying that machines or robots won't be able to do this. That's not your position. You think they will. There's no question that at some point in the future, we will have machines that are smarter than humans in all domains. It will not be LLMs. It will not be generative models that predict discrete tokens. It will be models that learn abstract representations and make predictions on abstract representations and can reason about what is going to be the effect of me taking this action? Can I plan a sequence of actions to arrive at a particular goal? 